Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lucia and this is Lulu's Leaves. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys a little update of my greenhouse. I have switched things around a lot, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tour. And I might go into the rest of my room here, but I think the greenhouse is going to be enough for today because it's gonna take quite some time to go through all of the plants. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, definitely continue watching this video all the way through to the end. If you haven't already entered my giveaway to win a $20 Amazon gift card, don't forget to do that by giving this video a thumbs up, commenting down below, and subscribing as well. But that is going to be all before we get into today's video. I really hope you guys do enjoy it. All right guys, so I am going to start off in the cabinet here. There has been so much that's happened since you guys have seen this cabinet last. Definitely a lot of growth updates and also just a lot of moving things around. So I do want to go through and show you guys what's going on in here as of today. I also want you to ignore the mess on the shelves here. It's a little bit water stained, but I do need to kind of take this off and wash it today. We may as well start off right up at the top here. We've got my Hoya Imbricata. Oh my God, are you kidding me? I had no idea that the second leaf was in there. That is so exciting. I was just about to tell you guys that nothing has happened, but we have a second leaf on this guy. And honestly, it's been months. It's actually been probably over a year now since I got this plant and it's finally put out a second leaf. That is so exciting. So I definitely need to water this one today, but that is some great news right off the bat. <laughs> That's so exciting. All right, I'll try to contain my excitement and <laughs> continue. Next up here, we still have my Hoya Carnosa freckles. This guy just kind of lives here, but it's doing well, it's happy, um, nothing really new there. And then we have my Philodendron Painted Lady. This guy has gone through a little bit. It was actually sitting out of soil for a little bit because I needed to, because I needed to switch around some of my pots. So right now it has a new growth, which is great. It's doing fine, but it is losing some of these older leaves. So that's kind of where this guy is at at the moment. And then if we look over here, we have my beautiful Manjula Pothos. This guy recently put out this leaf here and it is killing off some of the older leaves. But I think that as long as they're not the top leaves that are yellowing, I'm not gonna worry about it too much because it does seem like it's growing. So yeah, that guy is just hanging out. Probably needs some water like a lot of these plants on the trays here. I know that a lot of the stuff that's on the shelves are watered, but these trays do get neglected sometimes because they're a little bit more difficult to water. Next up here, we have my philodendron. This is not a philodendron. This is a Syndapsis Moonlight. It does have a sort of browning, yellowing leaf there, but that is the oldest leaf on this plant and it is putting out new growth. This is a new leaf and there's also a new leaf right there. So it's doing okay. And then we also have my Hoya Australis Lisa. This one came back from the dead and is doing really, really well. It did have some new growth. Yeah, those two leaves there are new growth on this one. So that's really exciting. I'm happy that this guy is doing well now. I'm actually surprised considering the woodiness of the stem here. It does look kind of dead, but the plant's definitely not dead, so that's great. And uh, I can see some roots in there too, which is great. So this one is happy in moss. I don't typically keep Hoyas in moss, but this was an exception. You'll see a few more in moss in this cabinet, but outside of the cabinet, there's not a single Hoya in moss. Then next up here, we have my Epipremnum Pinatum Albo. This guy is not super duper variegated, but I did take a cutting off the top and give it to my mom. And her cutting is quite a bit more variegated. So 
that makes me happy. I don't really care too, too much about this plant, <laughs> to be honest. It's really pretty, but I would rather my mom have the more variegated one because she really likes it. So yeah, this guy is just in moss rooting a little bit more, but this is a bottom cutting, so it is probably pretty well rooted in there to begin with. And then over here we have my beautiful Syndapsis Pictus Silver Lady that's doing really, really well. It just keeps putting out brand new leaves. We have at least three new leaves since I got this guy just about a month ago, so that is really exciting. I absolutely love the splashing on this plant. I think it's so unique compared to the other Syndapsis Pictus varieties, so it's definitely one that I really, really like. Then if we move on down to the shelf here, we have my beautiful Philodendron El Chaco Red. This guy's doing really, really well. Um, it did lose some of its lower leaves, but that is to be expected. It's been a while since it was like a little bush, and now it's turning into a little bit more of a mature plant. So the internodal spacing is spreading out a little bit, and the leaves are getting bigger, so it's looking a little bit more sparse compared to what it was, but then we're also getting a lot of the new maturity, which is nice, so. Yeah, this one, honestly, I haven't seen any roots peeking out on the side yet, so I don't think it's time to repot this one quite yet. I can't see any on the bottom either, and in these clear pots, it's really easy to tell if these guys are root bound, so I will always keep an eye on this one and see if it needs an upsized pot, but for now it seems to be doing really, really well. We've also got a brand new leaf coming in there, so that's going to be exciting. There's only a tiny little rip on one of the lobes. Then down here we have my Hoya linearis. This guy is also doing really, really well. It is really well rooted already. It took no time at all to root this guy. I think I started seeing little nubs for roots in the first week that I had this plant. And now it's doing really, really well and pushing out so much new growth. So I really can't ask for much more from this plant. It's really, really exciting. I wanted a linearis for so long and I finally got one. So yeah, I'm just gonna let it slowly grow at its own pace, all good with me. Then we have here my Philodendron plowmanii. I did actually save this guy many times from death. <laughs> Um, this guy has almost died so many times. Usually it'll put out a leaf and then when it's working on the next leaf, that older leaf will die off, but we're back and I'm hoping that this time we can keep more than one leaf on the plant. It's looking really, really cute. This was from a little stump and it's already a nice mature leaf. So we'll see with this one. Definitely needs some water. It's feeling a little bit crunchy, but looking good otherwise. And then here we have my Hoya Serpens. This is a really, really awesome Hoya if you guys can get your hands on one. I find they grow really quickly, just like the Matilde. If you like this leaf shape and you love little small hairs on plants, <laughs> this is a good one for you. This is also growing so much. You can see that nice long vine there and we're getting some new leaves along that vine. So this guy will be filled out pretty soon. Um, I've also got some peduncles all over the place. I think that's one there. There's also one hanging there, so yeah, it's looking good. We might get some flowers eventually too. We'll have to wait and see with this one. It's progressing really, really nicely, and it always seems to do the best in this cabinet. Then over here we have my Queen Anthurium, or my Anthurium Warraquianum. This was that old leaf that you guys saw slowly die off but now we are getting this brand new leaf in here. It's probably not going to be perfect. It got a little bit crinkled and I just pushed it over the edge there so that it didn't crinkle further, but it looks pretty good for now. So we'll see how that one turns up. We also have another growth point there, so that's pretty exciting. I need to water this one as well, especially because it's pushing out new growth. You wanna make sure that it has ample amounts of water, but it's definitely exciting to see some new growth considering that older leaf just died off. So yeah, I will give you guys some updates, especially once this guy turns into something bigger than a thumbnail. <laughs> I 
And then behind it here we have my Anthurium villaneorum, I believe it's pronounced. And it's doing well too. We have a little inflorescence there, which I might just chop off because I did notice when I got this plant, it also had an inflorescence. So I don't want to steal too much energy from the leaves. This leaf does look like it's starting to maybe yellow a little bit. So I'm going to chop this one off and just give the plant some more energy focus towards the leaves rather than the inflorescence, but otherwise it is doing well. Then we have my Anthurium crystallinum here, which is working on this new leaf. It does seem to be pretty much hardened off now. I'm not sure why it's yellowy there. I think it's just chlorotic because it's not really yellowing on the back at all. And this is how it came in. So I assume that's just from the higher amounts of light in the cabinet here. But if it does start yellowing even more, I will update you guys. I hope it doesn't, but <laughs> Um, you never know. You never know with these plants and it's not the end of the world even if it is because this one is one of my fastest growing anthuriums. So not a problem. This leaf is so beautiful. This was the largest leaf that we've gotten on this plant and it's looking so good. And then here we have my anthurium regal. This is my second anthurium regal or sorry this is the first one I got. This one I thought had thrips but I realized they were definitely not thrips after a while. So it is back in my cabinet. This leaf obviously has a little bit of physical damage there, but no past damage. So I am very confident that this guy is thrip free and it always has been. <laughs> it's looking really, really nice other than that small damage on the bottom, but it's also looking very identical to the other regal that just pushed out a leaf. It's about the same size, which is really, really nice because it is massive. I also did just recently repot this guy into some fresh moss and some perlite in there too. The roots are looking fantastic on that plant. So I just wanted to give it some fresh, fresh substrate to push out some new roots. And then up here we have my beautiful philodendron varicosum that is pushing out new growth left, right, and center. This new growth here is coming from the more sad stem here. <laughs> this guy actually came all the way from the US from Botanicas and I was already able to propagate this one and I gave my mom a nice little cutting but it is coming back strong with some new growth there. And then uh, yeah, the other side here too just pushed out this beautiful new leaf and we've got another one on the way. But I'm so, so incredibly grateful for this plant because this is one of my first wish list plants, I would say. And it's just doing so well and it's exactly what I wanted with these nice dark areas and the pillowy leaves. It's just so beautiful. So that is it for the first shelf. We will now move on down to the bottom. So if we start up here, we have my beautiful little jewel orchid which is rooting up and doing really well now actually. It's pushing out a lot of new leaves. And yeah, I'm really proud of this one because it was basically nothing and now it is a really cute little jewel orchid with roots again, which is nice. I do think I might see a spider mite or it could be a beneficial mite too because I did put a lot in here. I actually do think it's a beneficial bug, but yeah, either way, the plant is looking good so I'm not worried. And then we also have a little butterwort in there too, which is nice. It's just growing in the side. This is a really fun update. I didn't even notice this, but we have two new leaves on this beautiful Hoya finlaysonii. This is one of my favorite Hoyas. It put out this leaf for me last year, and now it's working on these two beautiful leaves. I think they look so stunning when they come in. And I'm hoping because they're in such bright light, they will sun stress and uh, stay more of this pinky tone because I love that. But yeah, look how beautiful that is. I love this plant. We've also got my variegated Christmas cactus here or Thanksgiving cactus, and then my Hoya Finlaysonii chicken farm, which is always just doing absolutely nothing, <laughs> but that's okay. And then we have some of my favorite Hoyas. This here is my Hoya Bella Louis Bois. I'm really, really happy that I was able to save this one. All of my Bellas had spider mites at the same time and I had to chop this up, root it in some moss and then plant it back up. But I think it's looking really, really nice and it's going to be a lot bushier than my original plant in the end because I did chop it 
into so many different pieces, but it's looking really nice now and growing really quickly, which is nice. So just gonna keep it where it's at because it's obviously thriving in this spot. And then we also have my Hoya Viola that's doing well. It wasn't pushing out any new growth while it was attached to its mother plant. And now we have a little bit of new growth going on in there. So I do wanna water this guy and make sure it has enough water to produce that leaf before it falls off. Yeah, this one's also sun stressing pretty nicely as you can see. And I'm really, really looking forward to watching this one push out new growth. I'm very curious. Most violas I've seen are a lot darker than this one. So I'm curious to see what color the leaf comes out. And hopefully it's a little bit sun stressed like these guys. Next to it up here, we also have my small cutting of my Hoya Bella Album Marginata. Look how cool that is. That's very interesting, but yeah, this was the one that did the worst um, once I kind of started cutting it back after the spider mites, but it looks to be really, really healthy now. And I love the contrast between the leaves. It's staying really, really dark with the nice white margins, so. Yeah, once this guy does grow a little bit more, I will chop it and plant it back in so we can get a bushier plant like this one here, but it's still healthy and it's looking really, really nice. So I'm happy about that. And then down here, you guys know I have all of my Syngoniums, which have been a little bit of a learning curve for me, if I'm being honest. I am not really comfortable with the watering quite yet. They do seem to need a lot of water and I wasn't expecting that. This guy here is my Tri-Leaf Wonder. I have two of them, one here and one here. They are both doing just fine. Then we have my Batik, which is pushing out a new leaf. It does also look like this leaf is kind of on its way out, but it's looked that way for a little bit now, so we might be able to hang on to it, but this one definitely needs some water, so I will get on that once this video is over. Then we also have my incredible Syngonium Wendlandii. This one is just on something because it is a bush right now. It's looking so good and uh, it seems to be really loving this cabinet. So I'm obviously gonna be keeping it in here until it tells me otherwise. <laughs> but yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite Syngoniums right now, just simply because of the growth pattern and how beautiful it is looking. Then here we have my Syngonium, what is this one called? Starlight? Yeah, Starlight. This is either the Starlight or the T25. Either way, I love it. And again, this is one that I need to work on the watering with. I think I lost two leaves already on the bottom. They just kind of yellowed, which is a common theme if I don't water them quick enough. But yeah, it's still looking really nice. Then we have my no leaf pink spot over here. This one also, I don't know what it's deciding to do. I think there's a new growth popping up there, but there's also a new leaf in that sheath there. So we'll just have to see where this one ends up pushing out new growth, but it does need to work on some roots first. So that is why it's in moss. Definitely needs some water too. So we will do that again after this video. It's just sitting back here. And then we have my Syngonium Albo Podophyllum also doing amazing, just pushing out new leaves all the time. We are getting another pure white leaf here, but it did just come out of that one, which came out of this one, which came out of this one. So unfortunately that's dying off, but it doesn't mean that this plant will need to be cut back. Um, they do that often and then they will just go back to green. So yeah, we'll just have to see if it does continue to go all white. I will have to chop it, but I have a feeling it'll be just fine. And then we have my somewhat reverted Three Kings back here. <laughs> um, it is unfortunate that it is reverted, but these leaves are still really pretty. So I might just keep it and see what it does. But I do wanna get another Three Kings to replace this one because the Three Kings are so beautiful and there's one at work that's really tempting me. I will have to save up for that though. So that will be in a little bit. Then we also have my Pink Splash, which is not doing the best, if I'm being completely honest. Another one that I'm struggling to water properly, but the new leaf is still looking good. So as long as we have some active growth happening, it should be fine. I just need to make sure I'm staying on top of the watering because 
obviously the lights in here dry out these plants a lot faster than they would kind of just out in the open so yeah I just need to figure that out and stay on top of it all right guys well that is going to be it for today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned I'm gonna be doing a tour of basically the rest of this room because things have obviously shifted around again that will be coming out in the next little bit but yeah don't forget to enter this week's giveaway by giving this video a thumbs up commenting and subscribing but that's going to be all from me thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys next time